Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about a mascara. This is a mascara that has been around for a long time, so this video may be very redundant for some of you, but for a small percentage of people, I wanted to put this video out there because it would be something that I would be interested in. This is a mascara that I was um, interested in knowing more information about, but nobody really talked about it on YouTube um, except for beauty gurus who we have probably been using it for years and just throw it in a tutorial from time to time. So I'm making this video for the small percentage of you who are interested in knowing a little bit more about this mascara and probably aren't finding very many reviews on it. The mascara that I'm talking about is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It comes in this pink tube. Um, the first thing that I really like about the packaging is that it feels very heavy, which makes it feel like you're getting something nice. I know that sounds really stupid, but a lot of the um, more affordable or drugstore mascaras are, I, w I don't want to say they're a plastic tube because I don't really know what this is made out of, but they are more lighter weight product and this one feels more heavy duty so when you spend the money at least you feel like you're getting something a little bit more luxurious. Um, I think this mascara retails for $23 or $24. It is a little bit expensive, but on the other hand, it is affordable because the way I look at it is I spend $20 on a lot of things, so I just choose to spend it on makeup <laughs> instead. This is a mascara that I have been looking for. I've been wanting a mascara to do the things that this one does, and I haven't found one yet, at least not through the drugstore. My most recent favorite mascara was the Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara. It came in the yellow tube, and I thought that was a pretty good one, but it still wasn't doing exactly what I wanted to wanted it to. Um, the reason I, I've heard of this one for a long time. The reason I really decided to use it was because Jaclyn Hill's sister, Rachel something or other, mentioned that she uses this every day, and she always has really pretty... Um, lashes. <laughs> and they look like nice lashes, but she doesn't... Okay. This doesn't make any sense. In her photos, she's always had really nice, well-defined, thick, full-looking lashes without wearing falsies. So I thought it would be a really good... Um, I thought whatever she was using probably was working pretty well. So I happened to be reading in her comments one day and she mentioned that she uses this mascara and that is the reason I decided to try it. So I'm going to give you a close up on what I'm wearing right now. Of course I'm wearing this mascara. I have curled my eyelashes first. I do prefer to wear this mascara with curled eyelashes because it emphasizes the lashes even more. And um, I have several coats on right now. I put uh, three to four coats on which is a little bit more than I wear just going out to work because I wanted them to really pop for this video. Um, but I do really like the way they turned out and I do not feel like I could get this volume from a drugstore mascara. At least not the drugstore mascaras that I have tried. So I will give you a close up of what my eyes look like now. And then I will do like a demo of what one to two to three of these coats looks like uh, as I put them on one by one. So I will first show you the wand. So the wand wasn't something that I thought would be the most amazing thing ever. But the more that I use it, the more I realize how functional it is because uh, it's going to be hard to explain. The part that is more slim in the middle helps to coat the middle lashes and the way the wand extends out around the edges helps to coat the outer lashes so that you can get more coverage on your lashes in one stroke. I think I said it right. <laughs> I also like that with the first coat you get a lot of coverage. I find that I can do one coat of this mascara and feel like I have as much mascara on as two coats of a drugstore mascara or two coats of my favorite Maybelline mascara which is the Colossal. My second favorite thing about this, those are the two favorite things I have. The amount of volume that goes on with each coat and the way that it wears. This does flake off your eyes. It does not stay on like glue. I would say it takes at least a good 12 hours, maybe 24 before it really starts to flake. But that's my favorite thing about a mascara is because I have found that the mascaras that do not flake really cake to my lashes and I have a very hard time getting, getting the mascara off. It doesn't come off on its own and when I've tried to um, use a makeup remover, um, it's... 
very painful to remove and I cannot stand those. That is the very reason that I do not wear waterproof mascara. Um, but really, other than that, that's all I have to say about this, this mascara. I really wanted to put a video out there that would go a little bit more into depth about this. I'm sure there are hundreds of them out there that already do, but I haven't seen them, like, you know, it's not the same thing as when a new product comes out and everyone wants to talk about it. This is really old and no one's probably talking about it anymore, so I really wanted to put this out there. But... That's what I like about this, and I thought I would share that information with you because I'm sure there are those of you who are out there that are looking for a great mascara and would like to know a little bit more information about certain ones. I've also recently tried the They're Real by Benefit because I've always heard this one and that one as being like everyone's favorite. I do not like the They're Real. It feels like a more moussey texture, and it is really hard to get off my lashes. I've stopped using it. I don't, I don't even use it. Um, like I said, this one flakes, so it comes off very easily, and then the other one, it really sticks on. And some people like that. That's good. Some people really like that in a mascara, but I don't because I want it to come off <laughs> eventually, and I can never get those off. But that's all I have to say about this one. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful or beneficial for you. And that's going to be all for this video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>